Okay, it is one o'clock and that's the time scheduled for our work session of the Coaching Scanning Board of Supervisors, Tuesday, November 8th, 2023 at 1 p.m. Board of Supervisors Executive Conference Room. Pursuant to ARS 38431.02H, the public will have that physical access to the meeting place 15 minutes prior to the start of the meeting. Any item on this agenda is open for discussion. Roll call. District 1. Crosby is here. District 2. Supervisor English is present. And District 3, myself, Supervisor Judd. Um, members of the public may also attend this meeting via microphone, computer, or mobile app, or via phone by calling 602-609-7513 or 888-680-6714. Conference ID 436-423-81 pound. If you have trouble accessing this meeting remotely, call 520-432-9200 for direction. Work sessions are a time for county staff to inform and discuss agenda items with the Board of Supervisors, and public comments will not be taken. As far as introductions, we have all county staff here, um, except, well, your staff as well, but our guest of honor today is Daryl Crowley. He's our interim facilities director, and our discussion today will be B, the discussion and possible direction regarding facility department informational update, including updates on completed current and future projects for the current fiscal year and the fiscal year 2023 and 2024, facilities, capital improvement plan, in case you forgot what you were presenting, I just read it. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Um, to start off with, I guess we can, uh, oh, there we go. Um, we'll go with work in progress. Um, the courthouse electrical panel has been moved back because of trying to get one. It has been moved back into May and June time frame. So as soon as we get it, next well, year. Yes. <laughs> so it will have been right out a year by the time we get it and wow. that it was ordered and put in place. But while we're discussing the courthouse on the 14th of next month, we APS is going to do a transformer change up. So there will be a complete shutdown of the building. 14th, afternoon of the 14th, and refire back up again mm -hmm. on the morning of the 15th. When we were changing out that SES nine months ago, 10 months ago, we found that that transformer was leaking, and it's taken a APS this long to get squared away, to get it changed out. What does it leak? Okay. The next one is a BDI well drilling and construction. The well is complete. Um, it actually has the pump and the motor sitting on it. We are waiting for a concrete slab and the building from well one to be moved over and set on that one. So we're probably, I'm going to say, 45 to 60 days away from being in operation with that other well. well why do they work so little of the time out there? Well, part of it... Um, I mean, it's a contractor, it's not right. us. No, I understand. You know, I, I drive by there and I go, there's nobody here again today. No. I, I, I agree. Um, unfortunately, just because of the way everybody's schedule works, I think, is, is, is the main reason behind it. Um, everybody is busy enough that they just can't, can't get their, they wait for the well to be drilled before they get set up to test it. So then there's a week or two before they get there to test it. And then there's two weeks worth of testing. And, uh, but the well has tested, it is an exceptional well. They put a pump in it big enough that was handling 1,750 gallons a minute, um, and they ran it for 36 hours, and it only dropped to static level 120 feet. So, um, and that static level is up at just about 280. So, there's a lot of water in that well, fortunately. Sierra Vista a regional service center HVAC replacement. I have four units that are sitting at the road yard now, um, and we're waiting on five more to come in, and that should all take place sometime this next month. Again, those, for, for whatever the reason, HVAC and electrical equipment is just almost impossible. It's all Everything. coming from overseas. Uh, some of it, yes. Um, unfortunately, the electrical stuff is all being manufactured here, but they're so backed up. They can't, they can't get anything built very fast. Under work under progress, the Wilcox Regional Service Center roof, um, they actually completed it last Wednesday. So it had, now has a new roof coating on it and should be good for another five or six years without any issues whatsoever. Library HVAC, those units have been ordered. Uh, HVAC or the library and procurement both have been ordered. 
Um, and we're probably looking at about 60 days and they'll be here. So, um, we're in the process now of pouring the concrete slabs for them to set on and getting some of the, the ductwork set up and ready to go. They're not on the roof? No, they're on the ground. Uh, Soldier Creek. Um, Soldier Creek has been quite a, quite a chore. We pulled power all the way through the middle of the warehouse, clear to the east end of the building. Um, but outlets on every one of the poles that drop down in the middle of that, so they have power now in the in the warehouse. Um, my electrician, we relocated or added in addition to 40 outlets inside of all of the office spaces for all of their TVs, monitors, smart boards, and all that other stuff. So uh, that has been. And we've also painted... I would say 80% of all their office space as well. So what, what is Soldier Creek? That is the new SO. The Sheriff's Office building over on Soldier Creek Boulevard in Sierra Vista. Oh, the one we just bought? Yes. About Out to bid, we're working on the signage for here at Melody Lane. I'm working on getting quotes for the Wilcox Animal Shelter. What are you doing there? At the Animal Shelter. I'm going to put a metal roof off, um, go right over the existing shingles. There's some deck work that needs to be done prior to that, but um, unfortunately when it had some of the swamp coolers on it in the past, it, they leaked and nobody dealt with them, and the roof deck was a, is in pretty bad shape in a couple of places. So. The uh, Wilcox RSC HVAC is part of our master plan of the 75 units that I have that are all over 25 years old. It's in the works. We just haven't gotten very far with it as of yet, but it is in the works. Same with Soldier Creek. I've got, we've got some HVAC units there that we're going to have to modify for the IT and Kongs rooms. What they have in there. Fortunately, we don't have to have the amount of cooling that they used to have so we can downsize those units. Uh, but the units that are there are, the manufacturer is no longer in existence and parts are next to impossible to come back. Completed. The finance remodel is completed. Uh, the good news with it, all the furniture has started to be delivered on the 20th of December. So by the first of the year, it should be good to go. I looked at it this morning and it looks really good. I'm so surprised that all that space was back there. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And the Benson stairwell windows, all that has been Completed, drywall's fixed, all painted up. Capital enhancement. Benson RSC HVAC is ordered, and we're probably looking at late spring, early summer for installation of it. So we already spoke about the Melody Lane signage, Melody Lane HVAC replacement, same with that unit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the the thing with that unit, it's going to be late spring, early summer. We're building E here. Place the roof over fourth floor of the admin building. Um, it is out to bid. It's not. I don't have anything firmed up on it as of yet. Admin building elevator. Uh, the quote is in. Uh, we're working on the PO, and it will start here very shortly. In the HVAC replacement, um, part of the 75 units that we have that is in a, in a master plan. Um, and then rekey the buildings. We're still working on trying to come up with a vendor that will take on our master key system. For good little challenge. Yes. Oh, oh, you want to click OK. And then Rich has given me the go-ahead to go and get started again on our new facilities bill. Perfect bill. We have reached out. We went to bid with it way back in March. AWR out of Sierra Vista was the low bidder, and we have reached out to them, asked them to revisit their, their quotes and see if everything is still going to work, what they need to adjust. So we're in that stage now. As soon as they get it, then we'll be ready to go to contract.
roofs, replace and re or resurface. Buoy, we're looking at, at doing some resurfacing there. Say the Wilcox RSC just got finished last week. The same with the animal shelter. We're going to put a metal roof on it. We have yet to decide if we're going to do it with a, a contractor or do it in-house. HVAC units replace. Um, again, Melody Lane, that's in process. I have not done anything with the county jail as of yet. Soldier Creek, of course, is in the process. Electrical system upgrades to the hangar out at BDI. The Forest Service and Wildland Fire are using that building pretty hard right now. Um, we've asked them not to try to generate any more electricity use in there until we can get that upgraded. That old system in there is probably every bit of 50 years old, if not older. That's the Soldier Creek? Yes. I see. No, no, not no, that, no, that BDI. That BDI. Oh, okay. Hanger. Exterior paint. Douglas Service Center has been completed. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it hasn't. Well, no, no, the, 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 snuggle, <laughs> the snuggle has been completed, and I'm, I'm in the process of trying to get painters down there to get that paste. Okay. Uh, which, which entities did you say were at the BDI? Was it one of the Forest Service? The Forest Service and Wildland Fire. It's it's just in the old old hangar, not the, the main building. Are they going to stay there, or are they coming and go? I, they they just wanted it as a place for these people to to camp, and then they want more and more and more for less they and less. They and more. Yeah. Well, they don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> they think they own the airport. Right. The fire services do almost. Um, I put in a bathroom for them, but yeah, that's not uh, enough. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep them out of the main that building. Might well. I mean, can you imagine forty or fifty firefighters trying to use, you know, the bathroom yeah. facilities in that main building? Well, I mean, you couldn't even keep toilet paper in there, and still can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and that's at the terminal. But we did put a bathroom, and I'm working on a second one out there at the hangar as well. So, trying to relieve some of the stress on that terminal with those guys anyway. How do you get them to pay? What's that? How do you get them to pay? I, that, that, I think, is under Dan Coxworth's. Okay. <laughs> um, HVAC systems addressed. Again, Benson is in the works. Sierra Vista Building B is in the works. Um, they say Sierra Vista RSC Building B should be complete by the end of December. Library and procurement, um, we're probably looking at February. Building F, I'm going to say... May, June, somewhere in there. Which is F? That's this one. No, no, no. I was going to say we had one right. not long ago. Next, next, building, yes. next building over. Yes. <laughs> it's the one in the middle. Because this one has a newer unit than the other. Environment two. limit services. And then, I remember being without the stepping. Didn't hear that one. It old music died. When you say library, you mean our library department? Yes. Down yes. to the end? Okay. Yeah. That used to be the, the I facility. Think we have some libraries, too. Right. Right. But that used to be the facility shop, and so it didn't have any. It had some heating, but it, and it had some swamp crews. Mm -hmm. um, this last yeah. summer, it, it, for yeah. people being in there like those ladies are. Well, the books it needs to, to have dry. Yes. Yeah. And then, just so you guys are aware, too, Starting next Monday, we're redoing the walk-in freezer at the evidence at the jail. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be complete by the end of next week as well. So, speaking of the jail, <laughs> how many <laughs> looming problems do you see that we might have to address between now and the time that it can be replaced? I, I really can't answer that question for the simple reason that the the sheriff's department has had their own maintenance department there. I know. The only time we get involved is if they can't handle what's going on or it's something on the on the outskirts. We get involved, so they have someone to blame for the fact that it's gone to pot. Well, I know. No better than done. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the story as well as I did. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> but why didn't you put in a work order? Work order? In work order. I've had, I've had discussions with them since taking over as the interim director. Um, we're trying to rectify some of that. But part of it is they to get our people in there, of course, we have to have 
their people with us 100% of the time. And so it, it does create a little more of a logistical nightmare because the guys can't just go back and forth to their trucks as readily and somebody's standing. There, there's always has to be, like I say, I spend quite a bit of time up on Fort Huachuca working in some of the, the high clearance areas and it's it's the same way. There's It, mm -hmm. it just becomes a very big pain in the neck trying to so it feeds you just let it fall apart. Well, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say that, but as far as we're concerned, I, I am a little concerned about the HVAC systems on those pods. Um, and I, Joe and I had talked about maybe replacing them and then using them somewhere else down the road once we come out of that gym. Well, Good they'll question. be the first people to complain if it's hot <laughs> or if it's cold or you know, so mm -hmm. flooded. Well, Mr. Crowley, their mothers will be. Uh, let's see, how about, you talked about roofs and talked about the animal shelter roof and you talked about uh, contractor versus in-house. Uh -huh. Could you tell me some of the, uh, the concerns or differences? Well, fortunately for us, that, that animal shelter building, what I got, is it's got a very clean roof. It doesn't have many perforations to it um, because it's more along the lines of a commercial building versus a resident. Mm -hmm. So there is very little perforations which make it really easy for my guys because then we just buy the metal come in and then install it okay. we don't have to cut a lot of holes or do do anything as far as that goes um, the thing with when we hire contractors and we're playing at least a minimum of 30 or 40 percent over the so cost what it would cost us to do so that's like I say, the main okay. two differences thank you I don't have anything I'm I'm always impressed about how much gets done here, but there's a lot of buildings to get it yes, done in. So, and, and of course, it's going to be a long list. <laughs> we, we a couple of weeks ago, we were, I was curious. Uh, we pulled our work order list, and since the beginning of our new fiscal year, we are actually handling 25 work or more work orders per month than we have in the past. So, wow, we're actually even knocking out some more stuff. So, with the same people. With the same people. Wow. I think the the if you would call it a complaint that I that I've ever had with the um with the department as a whole is the fact that either not knowing how or not feeling like they have the time to or for whatever reason, it's never been a big planning place. And I, I always felt that there needed to be scheduling. I mean we paint over so many years, or we do this, you know, we change out this many, you know, uh, HVAC units, we do this, we, so that you can sort of get an idea for um, for the regularness, you know, of the, the budgeting, instead of, God, if you buy all the HVAC units at one time, they're going to die at one time, so you got that lump again, you know, so you, you need to have some kind of procedures in place for all the things that you know are going to be replacements, roofs, HVACs, you know, painting, um, you know, those kind of things. Then it frees you up to think about, okay, what what else do we need to do? You know, instead of having to kind of push it all, you know, in. Yes. To that. Well, and like say you're running around putting out fires. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's what we're working on. It unfortunately it is a it is a big problem, and it's not something that can be fixed overnight. But we are definitely tackling it and seeing what we can do. Well. That's what I'm saying is that's that, that's progress. You know, when, when we start to think about that, like you said, made the statement, well, we need to replace, you know, X number every year. Right. Well, that's what I'm talking about is we need to have that kind of mentality yes. with this instead of wait until they break. And, then, and, and sometimes I, the county administration told them, to wait till right, right. Well, and then you know so we can save money here and we you know but uh, that's being penny wise and pound foolish um today we're in a we're in a different world especially when it comes to maintenance and replacement of, of, of our units just because we can't get them like we used to used to be a, an air conditioner went down and he went all right we need to replace it and in two and a half weeks you could have a new one um, now we're a year yes can be very easily so it, it requires to think about it completely differently Right, and and especially for the sellers because they got to think, well, what's going, what's inflation going to be in a year? Exactly. exactly. And then and then we still have the time old deal of do we do it in house or do we contract it out? It it uh, 
there's a there's a major cost difference there as well. There is, but you know you can't staff up for all of the things that need to be done, and so we need to staff for the maintenance, not you know the building something or, and so that's my theory is that you know we we need staff to do maintenance, and if if we have other things that need to be done, then we need to look to the private sector so that we can keep these people working on the projects that they know best how to do. Madam, your, your points are well taken, and I think the additional point that we always need to keep in mind is the cost of pensions. Well. Because that is, that's not considered, you're saying it's 30, 30 to 40, 30 to 40 percent greater for the contractor, and and uh, and you think, okay, we're helping private private enterprise there. But if you do it in house, you you're, you're really just postponing it because you might have a you might have a hundred percent greater uh, uh, cost of pensions. If somebody works a whole career; they could be retired for as long as they. I plan to live longer than I work if I can. <laughs> so. Extensions are, are not usually calculated in, in what you're talking about doing it in-house. Right. I hadn't thought of that specifically, but many times when you have excess employees, and I say excess because you've hired more, sometimes you have them working out of their field of expertise just because they're bodies, and and that's not good either, right. you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't think we've <laughs> had a plumber on an electrical yeah. job. Right. I, agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but you needed one more guy to do that, so he's not plumbing today, so he goes with it. <laughs> That's exactly right. I no, you do a great job. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I don't think you you're overstaffed. I was I was the comment meant you're getting all that done. <laughs> That's amazing. <Right. laughs> now it's a matter so. of crunching the numbers and it's yeah. almost impossible because you don't know how long people are gonna live. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it there's there's a lot of variables there, you know. Yeah. Same with yeah. cost cost increases on, on materials, and I, 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 it, it baffles me um, at how much cost increases have happened in the last five or six years. It's, it's, it's almost double. You know? Yeah, it's, and then again, you know, you've, in the past you mentioned administrators that wanted us to wait till it broke. I mean, right now is not a good time to go out and start a schedule and purchase a whole bunch because you anticipate next year or the next year. We, we almost have to kind of wait it out and hope for the well, best. And again... On top of that, in the in the middle of summer when it's 105, it's not a good time to buy the air That's when it's going to break. Yeah. yeah. You do need to have some yeah. some spare. <laughs> spare sitting there. Well, I think... He have can't we have spares till we build him a building. Because he has no place. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where did you say your units were? In the road yard? Yes, we're in the old road yard. We're, yeah. we're excited about your building. I think it's necessary. Nobody will fall through that roof or anything. Nope. <laughs> Good. Thank you. And I'm going to adjourn this meeting. Our next meeting is the regular Board of Supervisors meeting in our board hearing room on December 12th, 2023 at 10 a.m.